it's been interesting listening to all you guys talk. I, um, I, I really would love for more of you to email me during the week, sharing your struggles or asking for another copy of the picture, because um, I'm happy to ha happy to answer those questions. And it's it's just, I mean, if one person says I'm having trouble drawing, everybody else is also. And I and I knew this was going to be a difficult one. Um, I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make a couple of executive decisions. Um, because you know, I'm not copying copying the photograph. I'm 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 trying to make a nice painting. Uh, if I wanted to copy of the photograph, I'd just go to the CVS and copy the photograph, and I'd have it. So one of the things I'm going to do, if you're if you can see, uh, how do I? Okay, there are three posts next to the white sailboat. I got rid of the middle one because it seemed to make a wall of brown, and I would rather see blue in between my two posts. And I also like that there's a little piece of blue water down, down in the bottom I liked. So I bagged that. And then this boat, there's kind of a, in the picture, there's kind of a list to the left. It's, it's like someone stepped on the edge of the, or someone's sitting inside on that side of the boat and it's tipped. And that looks like the thing is maybe taking on water. So I straightened it. Since the drawing I did for you guys, I've straightened it. And I'm also telling myself, you know what? I have this nice little bit of white from those seats that reflect down here. And this is gonna be my focal point. Really, This is where the good reflections are. Why am I only limiting it to just the seats? Let's make the back of the boat lighter than the photograph. And in fact, you can see some light hitting the stern of the boat. It's just not as bright as those seats. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to try to remember, I got to remember this. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to, I'm going to put, no, oh, I already did. I, I wrote white right on my paper. So that I remember I'll put a W, that's a white. So when I start splashing paint around, I don't want to forget. I'm going to white right there on those seats. So I don't forget it. And I, I know I'm going to leave this white. Um, so those are the couple of the adjustments I made. Um, this area, I don't know about you, I think this area is nasty. I've got to really simplify it. There's just a ton of stuff on that dock and uh, I can't begin to draw all of it. So, but I do like a little bit of lights down here. Okay, so those are a few, few you know, um, editorial adjustments I've made. Let me see if I can pin that on picture. Yeah. If I, uh, I, I drew the list thinking that that was one of the, you know, asymmetric things that you cruelly devised. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, can I have it? <laughs> yeah. Would so you can have a reprieve. You can you can straighten it out. Okay. I should straighten it out. I, I think so, just because I think it, it looks Got a it. little weird. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, oh yeah, I did that right. Yeah, I put a bucket. Bill's just mentioned, I put a bucket down here, um, like, like it, it might hold um, chum or, you know, the stuff you throw fish, um, just to have something on that dock. I'm certainly not going to put a person over here. That would be distracting. <clears throat> so <clears throat> once again, picking up on our um, a design principle, my focal point is going to be here. It could be this boat, because yeah. <clears throat> it is the whitest, it's the biggest, but I'm most interested in the reflections and that's over here. This boat, the reflections are there, but they're very simple and they're not, they don't have those wiggles. And this one has all the wiggles and this, this has a lot of fun. And I'm also got that little buoy, that little float on the front of that boat has a little pink and it also reflects down here. And I, I like that hint of color because there's no other, if you look, there's no other red in the whole damn thing. So uh, that, that will help make this the focal point. Oh boy. Um, Okay, I told you about my changes. Okay, so the, the, the real, our, our lesson today is on, on, on uh, reflections. Now, and we have to simplify this scene. This is really a little bit crazy. You know, all the white trim around those houses. Oh gosh, I, I can't possibly capture all of that. And I don't want you to look at the white houses. I want you to look at the boats. 
So I will simplify those areas. Um, one other thing I was going to bring up. Um, no, I guess that's, that's about it. All right. Okay, now I gotta get my head back in. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna start by putting water um, over the entire sky. I'm gonna go through some of the buildings. I'm gonna leave the front side of these buildings, the right side of these buildings white light for now. But, uh, and I'm gonna leave this post, uh, this, this uh, mast, light for now, white. So I'm not gonna put color all into it. But then I'm gonna throw water all over the rest of this thing. All right, so let's see how this goes. Uh, believe me, I, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> You're nervous, I'm nervous. I gotta, I gotta make this work. Okay, here we go. Okay, don't, don't miss, there's that. Okay, I'm gonna go right down here. I'm gonna go right through that house because the house is darker than the sky. So I'm not worried about where are you not going to get the water? Well, uh, I'm going to go right down that piling. Yeah. The mast, I'm not going to do the water and, not, and the boat itself. Okay. And I know it's kind of boring watching me paint water, but sorry about that. I'm just sl slapping it on. Now I'm just, I'm going to go around this house. So I've kept that side light. Gonna go through even the roofs of these houses are often the roofs are light, but these are, are gonna be darker than the sky. Okay, here do a little bit of that. I'm not gonna paint into the green area. I'm gonna wait on that. Okay, let's do let's do some water color watercolor. There we go. Let's do some color into the so I'm gonna go around these. You know, the, well, uh, <clears throat> and I will even hit the reflection of the boats because the reflection, the, the dark reflections are darker than the sky. Now I got to go around this big, big, okay, here we go. The side of this boat is going to be a tone. So this, that, that uh, motor boat, but I'm going to leave this white. I'm going to throw it a little bit across there. I got to know that. I'm looking at my... <laughs> Okay, okay. Ned, a question. Does, yeah, keep... Since w when we get to this, the water may dry. Do you, does just, just putting the water on change the paper or something for, for the Yeah, it, quite honestly, it, it does a little bit. It's called, the, the, the paper has what's called sizing on it. It's a, it's a little set of kind of like, it's not glue, but it's a little, little coating they put. I'm gonna leave some whites down there, so. You gotta be careful. And uh, so you're taking the sizing off the paper a little bit. Yeah, and I would say, you know, by the time I get down in here, now this is starting to dry up. I wanna put, ooh, oh, Bill, I just hit your camera. Yeah, All right. Okay. I'm gonna throw like I did last time. Uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit of a alizarin crimson or it could be Joe's red. Uh, 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 just go right through these houses. This is sort of a pinky color. So I'll have something in the sky. Oh, there we go. Right up from there. Come on, let's get a little more color. You know, if it, if it looks like it's too dark, it's probably not because it dries lighter. Okay, there it is. There we go. Leave that. Wipe it. And I am trying to move fast because. Uh, just, yeah. okay, I'm getting my, the biggest brush I have. Oh boy. There I go. Ultramarine. Cerulean. Ultramarine. Cerulean. Okay, there we go. Nice big blob of that. Oh, I just went through my, my mask, didn't I? See that? Damn it. Uh -huh. Oh well. So. You get yourself into a problem, you have to figure out a way to get out of it. I'll deal with that later. I want to try to get that cerulean to be the same color on both sides of the mast here. Okay, there we go. That's cerulean on the side? 
Yeah, the cerulean blue. and ultramarine is in there. Okay. So I like like the last. Um, I want to just have a little hint of color in the sky. Okay. Now here's the here's this bluish color. Again, I'm mixing the two blues. Whoo. And I may leave a little bit of white right at that edge. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. Okay, here we go. Boom. We're going to go around that pail. Here's the piling. Boom. Okay, I may as well go through both pilings. Now I got to be careful. Now I'm getting around these boats. I'm going to leave a little reflection for this boat. Okay, there's that. I'm going around this boat. This is you know, I've got to make sure I'm looking at the okay. And I'm going around the boat on this side, and I'm going right down. Look, say this hull, I'm gonna paint this hull right here. Boom, boom, boom. This front of that, get rid of it. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of white, but I got to remember to save whites where I want to. All right, there's that. There we go. This, the side of this boat is going to be darker than the sky, so it's at least going to be the color of the. There we go. I don't want to hit that. That's where that pink is going to be, so I got to remember that. Okay, here we go. There's an edge. Oh, I'm going to make a little line of reflections right there. Do, 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 do. Go around this little float thing. And this down here is going to have a little, the reflection of this boat. Boom, boom. Okay, got it. what am I doing here? The... Now down be below here, I see some lights. So I'm gonna leave a few lights underneath the dock there. This is all dark. So this is all more of a wash towards the bottom of the altar. Yep. Yep. Uh, then I'm just going to, now toward the bottom here, I'm going to get a little more color, reload, there we go, boom, 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 that's all, that's all color, let's go through that. Ned, could you give us a shot of your palette every once sure. in a while so we can see what you're doing down there? Yeah, Bill can, is the, there, there is a, there is a, uh, there is a camera angle of the palette, you find it on the, <clears throat> maybe uh, pin it for a minute or take a look. I think it's on there with all the people. Which one is? is that the one that says Linda on it? No. Okay. Oh, yes, it is. It would be. It would say Linda. Yeah, I see it. Yep. Okay, then I'm going to make a slightly smaller. I'm ready to. I'm ready to stop, but uh, just hang in there with me. I'm putting in a little, little more color in here. It's just got a little. I'm putting a little line here. I'm going to put a little hint at, at the at the water line. There's usually a kind of a reddish tone in there, and while it's wet. I'm going to let it bleed into there. Deal with that later. Um, let's see. Okay. And I want to write, just because I want this feeling of ripples, I'm going to take a no, bigger, brush. Bigger, bigger brush, last three strokes, ultramarine, almost pure, a little bit of alizarin. And I'm going to just take this baby, go right. <laughs> right across here like that, like that. I want to 
And now I'm, I'm wide, medium. Now they're going to get start, start to get a little bit closer together going back. Now I'm not going to make this like a like jailbird here, but I do want to get little hints of Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to leave that at that. I'm going to leave that. I get, do I like these colors in here? I mean, no use getting rid of all these whites. I may, I may be happy with them later. There's the line of the boat. The line of shadow there. The line of shadow under the seats. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to quit now. I could, I could keep on going forever. I might uh, throw a little bit of pure water up here just to blend that. I don't want to get a hard edge up there. I'll deal with that later. Okay, so let me have you guys some. Um... Yeah, let's throw some, throw some water, water down first, and then try to work through the sky, and then down into the, down into the, into the water jumping over areas that are that you know you want to keep white what was the red color you used ned i use a little bit of alizarin Ned, yep. how large of brush are you using? Well, I was using, well, Diana, that sort of depends on um, the size of paper. If I, okay. I'm using a bigger piece of paper, I think, than most of you. Mine is 22 inches wide and 15 oh, yeah. inches high. So I've got a really, I'm oh, holding big, it above the boat. Okay. It's a really big brush. Um, okay. So it all has to do with the proportion of the brush to the, the paper, I guess. Okay. I'm going to throw a little bit of alizarin crimson. No, I'm sorry. While this is still wet, I'm going to put a raw sienna and burnt, or what is it? Yeah, raw sienna and burnt sienna to give a little hint of the sunlit dock here. There we go. It's hard for me not to paint when I stop for you guys to paint. But... Like this, I went right through that mass. It pissed me off, but I'm used to take a little bit of water. Well, it was the one that was in that corner. Nancy Sensible?
Rhea, look at this. The color of that thing is Like this area is really dark. So there's a little bit of a shadow, I think, in between. And it's just a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till the next. Just so you guys can do all this. Boy, sometimes I've, I've had a big bead of color up here, and sometimes it dribbles down. Like you don't even look. You're not even looking at it. It's like right over here. Ned, what color blue do you have as the water? Um, what color in the water? I was yeah. just, the only blues I use are, well, at least today, is alizarin, I mean, I'm sorry, cerulean and ultramarine. Now, someone else could use cobalt and cerulean, like that cobalt is very similar. Yes. Oh, that's where the. Oh. I see. I eliminate that middle piling. Okay, I'm getting ready to get back into this and just work with the greens in the uh, on the on the land on, on the land part of the painting, and those greens will come down, <clears throat> reflecting in the water. It will be some of your darkest colors in the water. All right, um, I had some color that went through my mask, but but while you guys were painting. I put some clear water in the mass and I was able to get the mass back to almost white. These pilings, um, I'm, I'm losing, sort of forgetting if they have a light side to them. And I'm gonna lift up some of that blue tone on the right side of that piling. So that later when I put a brown color, I can have a light side brown and a dark side. So I'm just lightening up these things and lifting color out with my, my brush. All right, okay, are we ready? All right, I'm gonna start in, uh, this will be about, uh, about 10 minutes, I'm gonna do the greens and then I'm gonna do some of the, um, simplify the houses into one or two tones. Um, the uh, roofs of some of these houses are lighter than the sides. Um, so I've got to watch that. But I'll, I'm gonna start with the greens first. <clears throat> Which brush do I want? Okay, and I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna wet all the greens first. I'm just gonna start throwing color on there. So I'm gonna get some water, throw it on my palette. I'm gonna get some of my Oriolan, which is the kind of the, the lightest yellow I have. 
a little bit lemony for me, so I'm going to add a little bit of the new gamboge. Okay. Oh, thank you for the uh, coffee cake, man. Okay, so I'm going to start with the yellows, this yellow tone. Up, 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 up. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, Woody, that was great. <laughs> now I'm going to get a little cerulean and mix it with the um, cerulean. And I'm going to throw. You want the feeling that this is like a, a cascading uh, green coming down toward the water. Go around my piling here. And now I've got a little bit more um, new gambos yellow. Throw that in again. Come on, come on. Okay, by throwing the, the yellow down first and then putting, putting the blue, you, you get some nice blending of blue and yellow into green. I'm having a tough time going around these fishing shacks. Okay, now I'm gonna take some ultramarine blue and throw it, ooh, whoa, 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 that's some strong color. Throw it on there. This is the ultramarine and the new gamboge. This will be a strong dark green coming down to the other side here. Now, this is called negative painting. I'm drawing around all the pilings and around the roofs of these houses, these fishing shacks. Fishing shacks, which probably go for, I don't know how many millions now. Um, and oh, I'm gonna want some of the darker, here we go. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> I better take this green while I've got it and start putting it into the into the water. And it's a it's a dark green. I'm gonna put a little raw sienna with ultramarine to get it a little, little darker than what's above. Because these are ripples, I'm going to do just a few little lines across here. I'm going to go around these boats. Now, this goes green right down the side of this. Now this green does go almost right down to the, it does go down to this. Sailboat. Ned, what did you add at that last? Was it raw sienna? Raw sienna, it's kind of my um, tannish yellow. Okay. And then 
ultramarine blue, which is a pretty dark blue. So I've got a dark yellow and a dark blue, and that gives me a pretty good darker green. And we'll go along there, and I'll draw a line there. So every once in a while, I, I leave a, a little bit of that blue showing. There's another boat. Delete that, paint around the boats. And I have this green that comes all the way down around. This is why the boat looks so white is because it's got dark tones from the, from the uh, land coming right up. Ooh, let's get in the middle there. I'm looking at my photograph to kind of figure out how much. Okay, I've still got a lot of green to do up here, so let's get going here. New Cambodge, ultramarine. Now, what I'm doing around this, these, what do you call this thing on top of the sailboat? Um, you know, the, the lookout points for when they're sailing, they're way up, they're way up above. It's not a con rig. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it could be. So I've got to paint, this is, this is tricky. I've got to paint between those those lines and leave white wow And where I, I, to really make this boat stand out, which I want to, because it is my focal point, I'm going to get some of the darkest greens against the whites. So get that blue in there, right down in here. Uh oh, I just made a big mistake. <clears throat> Anyone see it? Nobody was watching. I want to put that float. The red one. The little red one. I just put some green into it. So I just, just put, put a little dot of red up there. And this is the permanent rose. I'm going to put it right down here in the water. And it's slightly going to blur into the, <clears throat> into the green. Now I gotta pick up with my <clears throat> I want these greens to be cascading down. So. Okay, I got more green to do up here. Get some of that yellow going in front of the house. Oh heck, I may as well just go right through. I'm really pushing this high up, way up here. That idea of a cascading 
greens, a little bit of blue. And we're going to go around these the roofs with the I also have green in between underneath the some of these platforms. I can't paint everything on that damn boat. There's just too much stuff. That's exactly the way. Come down to about here, and I'm going to stop there. So, where's the end of the Ooh, it's uh, the other side of the island. Um, <clears throat> okay, I gotta, ooh, I gotta get some greens, darks down in here. Well, it's not so much greens. I'll wait. I'm going to wait on some of that. <clears throat> okay, putting in a little bit of green back down in here. So it's looking pretty dark on my screen. Okay, I'm going to pause at the greens. I was going to do the buildings, but I'm going to I'm going to wait on that. That'll be a different a different uh, few minutes. <clears throat> so you can see I've got the greens going down around all these little buildings. Creating some sharp edges around the roofs of these buildings. And we need to get the, the buildings done next, but I'll wait.
very important to keep your, your water clean. My, my, my water that I've been mixing the grains is really, really gross. So I'm gonna wipe down my palette, save a little bit of that brown and tab of color, which is what you use. And I'm gonna wash out my sponge and wash out my, my paint, my color. So, um, Ned, did you water down the mount, the uh, greens before you went onto them? The hill, the hillside. What do you mean? Did I water them down? Yeah, you watered. Did you water that whole hillside? No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I went at it with it so dry. I put the, you know, the wet, wet yellow, and then when I put the blue in, it kind of merged a little bit. Got it. Okay, thank you. Where are you confused? And my thing over here, I don't know what I did. So I, I'm trying to just need to draw. Yeah, I mean, and I, 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 I had some green coming down here. And I realized I, got, I don't want green. I don't see it there. So I've got to sort of figure out what I'm doing in here. There's this little skiff. You see that little blue thing up there? Mm -hmm. So I may put that in. And then there's sort of a, a railing that goes down. Yeah, I have a railing and then I just have all this empty space. Oh, yeah, right. I don't, I don't yeah. So I'm not, not sure what I'm doing here either. <laughs> But we're having fun, right? Or at least we are eating good coffee cake. Oh dear. All right, I'm gonna start on the on the hit on the uh, houses. And I've got to get some color into that little the sailboat in the front. Um, and I've got a, a blue line along along the top, along its, um, along the deck. It's kind of nice. Okay, and I'm sensing I, I've got an awful lot of this yellowy green, and I, I need to I need to get a foil for that. So my my houses up here are going to be in a purpley color. Um, a little bit of blue, blue and red. So I'm going to use a alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue, which often gets me a nice purple color. So I always bring a, a tiny bit of color onto the onto the palette, a tiny bit of the blue. See if it works, and if it does, then I know I just get a little bit more of that color. And there we go. That's two reddish. So I'm going to go on the blue side. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Here we go. This, this pyramidal house up here. And I'm just going to paint it all one color. Boom. And then another one up here. We're going to kind of get on those pyramidal roofs. I see a window there, but I'm not going to worry about the window right yet. I see a chimney and I'm tempted to go red, so I'll put a little bit of red up there. That's okay. I'll leave it at that. Okay, this other house. 
it's got a dormer and it's got windows, a chimney. I'm just gonna do the whole thing. Watch this now, I'm doing the whole thing in one tone on the left side. Merging the windows, the first floor, the second floor, the roof, all into one tone. Okay. Oops, I just lost my picture. What the hell happened there? Mm -hmm. No, my own, my own screen picture. Okay, good. Okay, and I'm gonna take the same bluish gray. I'm gonna put a little bit more red on the roof of this one. And then my other tone down below. I'm leaving the sides of these houses white. These, at least these couple here. Because I don't, I may leave them white. I may, I make them a tone, I'm not sure. Okay, down into here, a little bit more of the pinky color. Remember we had pink in the sky, so I need a little bit of pink up there. And the rest of the house is gonna be blue. I'm adding a little bit of yellow, raw sienna. Ooh, I guess maybe I'll leave this a little bit of a tone too. Oh boy, this one I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill the white, sorry. Now there's a little walkway thing or a ladder I'm painting between the slats of that ladder. What's under here? Oh, there's a little more. There's the color of the dock. Good, 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 good. All right, now what am I doing? Oh, I got all these buildings to do, wow. The roof. I've got to go around this sailboat down here. There's another boat cap on it, so I watch out for that. Make a couple of marks so I remember that I have a window here. Window there. I'm going another going around the building, around the boat. Hmm. I'm gonna put in a few. There's a door. There's a window. Um, I'm gonna put a, a window here, a long window. And this little skiff here is sort of ultramarine blue. I'm gonna put a dark color underneath it. Now, hmm, leave those houses for a little bit. I can't put darker windows in that because it's way too wet. So I, I'm going to add right on the edge of this boat. There's an ultramarine line right from here. Going back and around on this side, same thing. And then right underneath it, looks like there's an ultra, uh, sorry, oh, cerulean first, and I got an ultramarine. Just below it. Put some 
color of this out of, out of the boat. Okay, now what do we do? <clears throat> the hull of this boat is darker than I have it. Okay, here's an executive decision. The side of this boat, this white sailboat, I don't want it as white as my motorboat in the distance. So I'm going to do a very pale mixture. And just, just tone that down a little bit so it's not bright white. I may leave the top bright white, but not the hull. The sides of this cabin, I'm going to put in a little shadow across there. Now the shadow in the water, we're gonna put a little bit of red back here. Now hang out the red and I'm gonna add a little bit darker color. Okay, there's the shadow of that boat. I'm gonna just wiggle it. I'm just gonna wiggle it out a little bit. All right, now, I've got to do something about this mast. I've, I've got to get some, I've got to get something. And these pilings, these, these dark verticals I'm going to get. Now this is going to remain fairly light on the right side, but I'm going to, Take a mixture of ultramarine, which always is my go-to, and yellow uh, raw sienna and a little bit of red. And watch what I do here. This is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to take my color. And I'm not going to draw one line down. I'm going to go. I'm going to use the edge of this to mark the edge. I'm doing a bunch of little, I'm using my squarish brush. And I'm going down. Come on, let's get a little more red and blue in there. That's ultra and alizarin. Yep, yep. And maybe a little bit of yellow ochre. And then I'm gonna take a small brush. I'm not gonna to touch the light edge, I'm just gonna just gonna soften that edge without touching the white edge. And so my mass now is light on the right-hand side and dark on the left-hand side. You see how that works? So it's a, it's a metal mast. Um, so it's, it's in shadow on the left side and it's light on the right side. Now I'm gonna do the same darn thing with the, these um, pilings, maybe a little bit of burnt sienna, uh, ultramarine blue, and watch what happens when I do this. Boom. Ooh, look at that dark. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and then I'll take my brush with mostly water. I'll come down mm. and start to bleed across. So I get a light side and a dark side. I'm going to do that again. Let's see magic again. Here we go. Boom. 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 And I need to have some under here too. Right to the boat. Just right down there. Okay. 
There we go, a little bit inside there. Woody, could you mute again? When you, then you become the, the main actor here. So what am I, am I muted now? No, you're not, you're, mute yourself. But Diana can't, Diana can't pin. She she has trouble pinning with her. All right, and I'm doing this. This is the side of this. And I'm gonna do a couple of wiggle lines here indicating, oh heck, I'm just gonna go kill that. And this is dark right up against the side of that boat. Got a couple of these little wiggle lines there. All right, there's the man. Okay, now I'm going to do using the side of my uh, the, the, the my brudges are like a chisel. I'm just going to put a few of these lines in. As they go back, they get a little bit closer together because they they're in perspective. those things in. Okay, what am I gonna do with that, that bucket over there? I better do something with it. And I'm gonna put a blue handle on it. That darn bucket. Okay. I'm going to kill this. The light side of this, this is too dominant. Okay. Now I'm going to do the, the dock in here and some reflections, and I'm going to pause again. So let's see what I'm going to do. Ultra, let's see, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, that reddish brown. Piling, piling, go around that boat. I got a pretty dark. And underneath here, it's really dark. Come on, I'm gonna get even a little bit of a lizard and crimson because that makes the darks even darker. And by adding some red in there, it kind of gives me a little extra color note. Susan, I'm trying to watch out for my, the light areas I wanted to keep under there. Take this color, wiggle it down. And down here, it kind of jumps to a couple little, little splotches. And it's really dark. Now I gotta kill some of these lights. Okay, if I just make some ho these horizontal lines like reflections, I can 
Make it feel like water down there, right? And before I stop, I'm gonna put in some of, the, some of the windows on these fishing shacks or doorways. There's one, and this will be a little window there. Be a picture window on that one. Window on that one. Window on that one. Up here. <clears throat> nice little large rectangular windows to look out onto the onto the harbor. That's still pretty wet up there, so I need to be careful. Door there, window there, window up there, window there. All right, just doing a little bit of the darks underneath the, the, the shed roof of this building. Okay, I'm gonna pause. I've done buildings, I've done pilings. Um, we've gotta go back and do some details near the end, but we're 90% we're, we're there. So I'll take a break and let you guys paint. Getting there, getting there, getting there. At this point, it's the negative painting that's tricky. You're painting between things. Um, yes. And so you're not painting the thing, you're painting the shadow of the thing. <clears throat> and uh, that definitely, that definitely gets, gets tricky. it's a reverse, a reversal from what you think.
All right, I'm going to, um, it's a, we started six minutes late, so you're gonna give me an extra six minutes to finish this. And uh, let me see what I can do. I, I, you know, in, in looking at my piece from a distance, this, um, this fishing shack just takes up, it's too, um, it competes with my, with, with my whites. So I'm gonna take a, a light tone and just tone it down so there's no white on it. I'll leave a little bit of white for whatever this railing is, but there, I've killed that. Um, do I like these up here? No, oh, they're too bright, they're too bright. I'm gonna just tone them down a little bit. Yep, tone that down. Just I'm just putting almost like dirty water on there. I still I can still see the light side versus the dark side of the building, but it's not as bright. All right, now. These things, this gantry stuff is looking pretty, pretty sticky. And I'm gonna just tone it down with, a, again, a tone of color. There's a little thing there. I'm gonna point a little underneath this. I'm just making it smaller. Everything on the left side, I've made a little, little tone of color to take it down a notch. Okay, here are my seats. And I see, I didn't do this before, I see a pretty dark area underneath the seats. So I'm gonna go in It's too, too blue. I'm gonna go right in there. Diagonal cross there. Okay, that's, that's, those are those seats and the seats. All right, and I need to probably darken up where I had it in the water too. Now, I've got the same tone on the hulls I do here and, and in the water, it's always a little deeper, darker, duller. So I'm just gonna go right over that with a, so it's some dirty water. And I'm gonna just leave some lines there. And this hull is a slightly, the reflection is a slightly darker tone than the hull above. I'm gonna to need to diminish this a little bit. And this one too. So I'm just, hints of the, hints of light, hints of light. You want to make lights brighter, put some dark colors around it. Okay. Uh, okay, we got to deal with this boat. Um, I've got a little bit of a window here. I'll put that in there, another little hint of one there. And then we have, I've got a bigger brush than I need, but then we've got these little stanchions. There's one of them. Two, three, there, boom. Now that's that. Now, <clears throat> there are these, uh, Jennifer, what are they called? The wires that come down. Um, no, the, 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 the wires that hold the mast up. Stays? Yeah. All right, I've got a clear uh, brush with clear water on it. And if I, and I've drawn some lines on here, I'm gonna draw that, watch what I do. I'm going right through. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go right through. 
This goes right to the edge. This goes right to that edge. It's just clear water. This one goes from the, from the top of the mast to the... So you have to stretch in the deep Oh, I could have done that too. Only with the, with the water wet. Okay, so there those are. Now, we're gonna mix a little bit of paint. Got my, I've got a jackknife. I'm gonna, this is always risky. I'm gonna throw. No, nope, I'm trying to get the, the color on the knife. You put color on the knife? Yep. And then I draw the knife right down. Come on, there, you see that line? I didn't get it. I've got to get a bigger puddle of color. More water on there. There you go, see it? Very, very thin line. I'm just using my knife, a little bit of color on, on its edge. <laughs> so I've got a couple lines in there. Um, Bill mentioned scratching. I could scratch out. <clears throat> I can scratch some lines that go down into the boat. So I have a little hint of a, a line going down to the boat. Um, what do you guys sell? Hey, I'm how are you? <laughs> what are you buying, Rob? I'm going to buy ochre yellow. <laughs> yellow ochre. <laughs> That's my neighbor, the doctor. Uh, let's see. This is a little bit darker than the float above it. And we'll run a few lines of to indicate the the crow's nest in there. Um, I did these lines, didn't I? side of this I'm going to darken a little bit and then it runs up to here and becomes part of that. Oof. Jennifer, is that you? No. <laughs> All right. Um, Oh, uh, touch up a couple of, a couple of windows here. The rest of this is just noodling. Um, I might touch it up later this afternoon, but I think you got the idea with a boat, reflections, keeping keeping the lights in this area. And I might even tone this area down a little bit more. The front of this piece here, make sure I go around those stanchions. There we go. I put in a couple of windows. Oh yeah, yeah, you can come over here and take a picture. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to pause here, I, I, um, and I encourage you all to to keep working, touch up areas. Um, if you want to get some whites back, you can always take your your brush and lighten up some areas.
Like I want to lighten this up. There we go. So I will try to take a picture of this later this afternoon and send it to you so you have something to look at later. Um, we'll try to do critique on Wednesday at five um, and send me your pictures as the uh, as the week goes along.